What's up guys, I'm Tiger with Tiger Upcut Media back with another Dokkan battle video. So according to Team Dokkaner on Twitter, Global Dokkan will be updated to version 4.1.1 sometime in the near future, possibly within the next couple of days, but if not, then definitely at the beginning of March. And what this means, that there are a ton of major updates and features coming to the global version of the game. So in this video, I want to talk about all of these new updates and features so that everybody's ready and prepared for when they drop. And I know I'm on the JP version of the game right now, but I'm just using it to show you guys all the features they currently have that Global will be getting soon. So the first thing, the first thing we can expect is a new function called the Gate of Memories. This is definitely the biggest thing that's coming out of this update. And it's essentially a new feature that will allow us to play old events in this game that are not currently active by using these new key items. So I'll show you right now. I'm gonna click this and head over to the Gate of Memories. And here with the key items that we can get from missions and just logins and all that stuff, we can replay every single event that has ever been in this game. So let's say for example, I really wanna farm mm, the Tech Bulma, right? The Tech Bulma event hasn't come back for a very long time and you never know when it's gonna return because they never really have regular schedules with these things. So instead of waiting for like six months to a year for them to bring this event back, I can now use these key items that they give us and just replay it, farm out my Bulma and use it for whatever I need to. And this applies to every single event, like I said. So all these story events that have ever been in this game, they're all here. If you need to farm like the physical UI Gokus, or the Gohan and Videl, or whatever, the Bardock. They're all available through these keys. So that's an amazing, amazing feature. It's gonna make our lives so much easier as global players. And I'm so happy that we're getting it. And uh, there's also different keys for Dokkan events, for Extreme Z battle events, for uh, Super Battle Road, and so on and so forth. So uh, yeah, that's super exciting. So that is the Gate of Memories. Number two is a ability, they added an ability to confirm the amount of missions from the event screen. So what this means is that in the past, to determine what missions you still had left for a specific story event, you had to actually go all the way back to the main screen, go into the missions, and then go into the special missions tab or whatever, right? But now, instead of doing that, you can just go to the story event, click this button on the right here, and it shows you every single event you have left for that story event so that um, you know you can just check here and then complete whatever you need to complete for those rewards. As you can see, I didn't do much of this event yet, but it just makes your life so much easier, guys. Now, <laughs> it's not as useful on JP, mainly because I can't read what the mission wants me to do. Like I can guess, right? Like they want me to get this guy to 40%, 50%, 60%, and so on and so forth. But on global, it's definitely gonna be a life changer because I can actually read those and I won't have to go back every single time to check what I need to do. So super useful there. Number three is they're removing the time limit for claiming mission rewards. So previously, if you completed a mission, but then the story event went away, you were pretty much screwed because you couldn't collect the rewards because it timed out. But now with the new update, you can collect it whenever you want. There's no time limit. And uh, that's obviously a good thing as well. Okay, next up we have the ability to accept all mission rewards at once. Huge, huge uh, quality of life change once again. So uh, I can't really show you guys here, unfortunately, because I don't think I have any missions that I've done. But for example, these are the daily missions at the top here. And let's say you did multiple ones. Let's say you finished like four or five at a time. Now you can just click a button and accept all of them as opposed to clicking each one individually. I don't know why it took this long for them to implement this feature, but Global is finally getting it with the update. So. Hallelujah, I'm so happy about that. I mean, I just love every single one of these features because they just make the life of a Dokkan player so much easier and they're not really like huge revolutionary things except for the gate of memories, which is huge. But everything else is like little minor changes that just like save you a ton of time playing this game and make the entire experience a lot more enjoyable. Okay, a few more. Um, added the ability to filter by multiple categories. So obviously with the introduction of you know, multi-category leaders or dual category leaders, you will want to filter by multiple categories on team building. So let's go to my team, uh, my box here, and we go to the categories here, and let's say Super Saiyan 3 and Movie Bosses. There's no, you know, leader that currently <laughs> has those two 
um, leader skills, but let's say I wanted to, let's say there was eventually for some reason that I can filter by those two categories. Uh, if you want to filter by three categories, you can do that as well. And I don't know if there's a limit. Oh, I guess you can, you can filter by as many categories as you want. So there's no limit to it, but it does make your life a lot easier for building categories or teams that have multiple category units in them. So there you go. That's the other feature. Um, added the, oh, adjusted some portions of the UI. So I believe the major adjustment here is the main screen where you just click that one button and it has everything you need here, the gain of memories, the uh, story, the um, the story event, the quest, all that stuff. And also, of course, world tournament and Dokkan Battlefield. It's all in one place as opposed to like all these different places on the screen. So that's the major change, I believe, to the UI. I don't know if there's any other like smaller changes that I missed. And last but not least, we have various bug fixes. So any little bugs that are, were in the game, they try to, you know, they always try to remove them with every update. So that's what that is. I'm not going to get into what it is or what the various bugs are because I don't really know all of them, but I'm sure you guys know some. If you guys know some, let me know in the comments down below and uh, also update me, update your comment after the update has come out to let me know if they actually fixed those bugs or they just left them in anyways. But <laughs> that's pretty much going to do it for the video, guys. Version 4.1.1 is coming to global soon and we can expect all of these new features to be added with the update. I'm extremely, extremely excited. Honestly, almost as excited for this as I am for a major banner dropping because it all goes towards making Dokkan a better gaming experience. So I can't, you know, you can't be upset about that. But that's gonna do it for video, guys. Let me know in the comments down below which feature you're the most excited for. I'm just gonna guess that everybody's super hyped for Gate of Memories and you should be because it's awesome. So that's it, guys. As always, if you like the video, make sure to like, the damn video, and if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, you like what you see, then make sure to hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you wanna stay up to date with all of my latest content. That's all I gotta say. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.